Did I get the introduction right, Zain? Uh, yeah. Almost? Uh, most of what I do. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do over here is get a little bit of the theory out of the way and then head to that table. But before we head to that lovely coffee table, in all of that introduction, Zain, mm -hmm. one thing I missed out was that you and I are both tech geeks, sure. creative individuals. Where does politics come in? Is it because we're all building up to an election year? Because we're all listening here at the India Today group. Uh, I, I'm a storyteller fundamentally. I try to tell stories that I think are relevant. Stories that I feel uh, aren't being spoken about with the same seriousness as I would like them to be sp spoken about. Um, in my short career, I have had the privilege of working on films like Ship of Theseus, Tumbar, and Insignificant Man, uh, which are all relevant in their own way. Uh, but I constantly feel that the media at large has been conflating two fundamental pillars, politics and policy. Uh, when we talk about politics, we keep talking about politicians and who said what and who did what. The most important conversation of today is the conversation of the rules we agree to live by, the consensus that we draw, mm -hmm. the policies that we form. And that conversation has, in the last decade, decade and a half, taken the back seat. It's taken the back seat. It's also because of us millennials and Gen Z really not being as engaged in that process. Things are a Google search away or maybe generative AI doing it. Sure. But that's where Shasan, this hot selling board game, co-founded and created by the gentleman sitting beside me really comes in. Now, very quickly, before you explain the game to me and to mm -hmm. our audience, why Shasan and why now? Uh, Exactly what I was saying earlier, uh, I want people, I want young people to talk about policy in a very engaged, uh, informed and exciting way. If I ask them to watch a two hour lecture on the policies of the nation and what happened in the last parliamentary session, no one's going to do it. None of my friends will do it, none of the people uh, who are younger than me are going to do it. Very few, perhaps 0.1%. What if I made it fun? What if I made it exciting? What if I made them want to come back to a table? to discuss policy on a daily basis, and that's what Shasan does. We have sold tens of thousands of copies all over the world, and every weekend, 20-year-olds sit around role-playing politicians, winning elections, fighting with each other, and understanding how democracy works while having fun. How many of you guys are ready in the audience to get a nice little test ride of Shasan? Can, a show of hands, please. All right, we need a lot more coffee, <laughs> or maybe this demo is going to do it. Come on, let's go and have a look at what this game is all about. Unless you've been living in a cave for the last decade, you know we are living in very, very polarized times. No matter where you look or who you talk to, your friends, news, social media, everyone is telling us that we are divided, politically. What got us here? It's easy to think that our politicians don't know what they're doing. But is it really that simple? That's why we built Shasan, the game everyone's talking about all over the world. Your friends are playing it, politicians, comedians, entrepreneurs, everyone's playing Shasan. The political strategy board game where you are a politician in the middle of a heated election. Each turn, you take a stand on a policy in a bid to win the national election. Do you need to know politics or follow politics to play the game? Not at all. But you need to scheme, deceive and do whatever it takes to win the elections. Over the past two years, Shasan has received universal critical acclaim. It has won several prestigious awards. People have called it the biggest board game out of India ever. Today, tens of thousands of players all over the world play Shasan every week and love it. The games are full of laughter, anger, despair and of course, healthy political discourse. We made a political thriller inside a box. Welcome to Shasan. What will you stand for? All right. So here we are. And if we met for coffee this evening, sure. tell me Zen, how do you play this game? Is this the monopoly for policy making? It's much more than monopoly, it's much more cutthroat, it's much more aggressive, it's much smarter. Uh, so like you saw, there are 13 campaigns in Shasan that you can play with. Everything from American politics to fictional politics that we will encounter on Mars 30 years from now. Maybe, uh, maybe sooner if Elon Musk has his way. <laughs> uh, what we have here today is the India policy deck. This is right. the election of 2019-2020. We have a new campaign coming out every year. So I can keep updating. Exactly. So it's a game that's really continuous. It's a living game. It's uh, a game as a SaaS model. <laughs> Interesting. Awesome. So every, now, if you, as you see the board over here, you have nine states where you're going to fight elections in. Whoever captures the most number of states wins the game. How do you capture states? You capture states by, earning, by influencing voters, and voters want to know what your policy is. Right. So a question could be something like, 
Oh, this is a nice one for the first card. First card, yeah. Okay. Should Pakistani cricketers be allowed to play in India? All right, and that's that, very timely. I'm, is that card that's been there much before this week? Because this week's yes. going to be tumultuous in that sense. Exactly. So, okay. And there are two answers on this. Yes, everyone profits when we play for peace. Or no, it takes one ball to play cricket, two to go to war. Now, the, top, the conversation's topics tend to be a little hot button, a little tongue in cheek to make it fun. But what it does is invites you to a conversation. Now, you have to answer this question, and depending on how you answer it, your political personality will evolve. Mm -hmm. You'll, and there are four ideologues that, the, that you can become in the game. There's the capitalist, the supremo, the showstopper, and the mm -hmm. idealist. Mm -hmm. One of these answers will be one of these, and the other one will be some other one. So what would you stand for? Mm -hmm. um, I think, look, if we're talking about this particular one, <laughs> I'm not going to answer that because that's a trick question. It's right at the India Today Conclave, the biggest stage. But let's just pick one, right? Sure. Pick number one. So let's say you say it, when everyone pays for peace, it's profitable for all of us. You are fundamentally the capitalist. Mm -hmm. And you're building a pro-industry platform. Now, as you build pro-industry platforms, voters who are more amiable right. to... Uh, to great economic growth yeah. will start falling in your wake and perhaps away from your opponents and that's how you win voters. You know guys, we've not been able to show you on this particular screen what we're seeing over here sure. but I urge you to go check it out. It's available by the way. This game is yes. available on all the portals. What, 3,500 rupees is right what now, it's yes. retailing yes. at? But the one with all the bells and whistles, the limited edition which the whole world has, how uh, much 12K. is that? 12k for a board game. <laughs> It sounds very interesting. What I'm going to do is, as a keepsake, I'm keeping sure. this, and we'll get back to our conversation over there. But Zen, what's interesting is, in a time when you raise this money mm -hmm. and nearly mm -hmm. half a million dollars mm -hmm. after one of the world's biggest board games had raised a third of that amount, mm -hmm. here comes this Indian creator, designer, who raises three times that amount mm -hmm. in a crowdfunding campaign. And then, mm -hmm. it's 2019, the game launches in the midst of the pandemic, you still wanted to go with a board game. Sure. Yeah. And not with a virtual game. I wanted, peep, I wanted all of us to talk about policy across each other. If so talking about policy on Twitter solved, or X as it's now called, solved the world's problems, the world would problems have been solved 10 years ago. The problem is we cannot talk to our families, our friends about what we believe in. And that's what we are out to change. Here I have documented 20 year olds arguing with each other on caste reservations in a college. Something they wouldn't have done. Now, I also believe in, uh, in doing good, but I also believe in doing well while I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. So we made this game, we made a physical game where you could sit and talk about policy, but, and we said, you know what, everyone's second guessing the audience. Our audience is smarter than we give them credit for, because no one wanted to create smart content for young Indians. Uh, I believed otherwise. We created, a game. we created one copy of the game, we put it on Kickstarter, and we had India's biggest crowdfunding campaign till date. Because people were ready for it. The audience was literally asking. There was a huge void that was created, and we went and captured the void. And that is perhaps a bumper sticker for my entire career, hmm. where me and my friends identify voids in the market, and then we go and create, turn those voids into gold mines. We did that with Ship of Thesis. No one wanted to make intelligent cinema. We did that with uh, Tumbar. No one wanted to create really high quality genre cinema. With An Insignificant Man, the political documentary, with uh, Shasin, and with a bunch of other things that we have done.